Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Muri mikoroba muri wa murafashwa. Are you blessed this evening and other evenings? Ndabizera. I believe you're being blessed. Harabimana yakore ibintu bikomeye. Are there people who have seen God do great things for them? Imani shimwe cyane. Praise be to God. Murahari. Are you here? Amen. Amen. Okay. Mwene data Laurent, Laurent Mugisha. Yeah, Do we have brother Laurent? Come, 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 come. We know. Eh, mbere yuko dutangira kwigisha. Before we start teaching. I received I received a message from Brother Laurent. Davuga ngo deka mu mubaze niba yababwira nawe. I thought I should ask him to also tell you. Arambwira ngo ntakunze kujya imbere y'abantu. He said he doesn't like to speak in front of a public. Atari ko ko wabinsabye ndabikora. But because you've asked that I do it, I will do it. Laurent nga bwira bene so so speak to the congregation and tell them what God has done for you. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Father, for inviting me to speak. I, I spoke to him in the morning. He asked me to be here this evening. I spoke to Apostle in the morning. He asked me to come here. I accepted because of him. I have a testimony of what happened to me on Tuesday. I had spent three years with ear pain from 2022. This left ear was hurting me so much. I would come to the intercessory meetings, praying for my ear. But I had failed to get my healing. I went to private clinics. They told me how they would treat me. And when they gave me the charges, it would cost, it was a lot. Half a million Almost one million and eight hundred thousand. And I said, only the God of Zion will heal me. So, I would always come. On Tuesday, I was seated where I normally sit. When Apostle raised his hand to pray. And he said, even those who have had ear pain are healed. I got healed. To be honest, I didn't really listen to him say that. But I had raised my hands. I had a sound in my ears. It felt like something was coming out of my ear. I thought someone had hit my ear and I turned to look. And I immediately sensed that my ear could hear. So, I said I will keep it to myself and wait. I'll see the, the reaction tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Today in the morning, that's when I saw that I'm fully healed. So, now, I thank God in heaven. I thank the God of Zion. I thank the God of Father. And that is my testimony. And I thank God that I'm standing here for the first time. This is my first time. This is the first time I've stood next to Apostle. And I thank God. Let's for Jesus.
None Lauren, ugutwi kwawe urishuwa ko kumeze neza. Are you sure you're healed? Yes, yes I am. Mu gitondo nahamagaye n'umuntu w'ishitangiye w'umuganga. In the morning I even called the doctor. I asked him to check my ear and he said there is nothing in my ear. After talking to you I went to the hospital just to check. And he said there is nothing in your ear. Hallelujah. Doing well. Hallelujah. 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 Imana yakore Laurent now ya gukore. The God who worked on Laura's ear can also work in your life. Kuko Imana yacu ndihinduka. Because our God does not change. Reka dushime Imana kubwe. Let's give thanks to God for him. Imana ndagushima kubwa Laurent. God I thank you for Laurent's life. Wamukoreye ibikomeye. You have performed a wonder in his life. Turagushimiye kukiri mukora. We thank you for you are still working no mundu he is human. he might have other requests and needs, but as he stands here let him get the answers to his requests do great things in his life because he has brought Ami wangore Chonza koranza za muri bendera Nanji chonza kora za za muri bendera Bugi chonga mi wangore Kukutaru munu ya Kukutaru munu Mazengo miti manye Icho ateye Kufi mabgaje Nangi choza korano Nangi choza korano Zaza muri venera God, we thank you for your goodness. As you're doing good things for your children, in this evening, you will do it again. Amen. Amen. Take your seats, people of God. Uyu ni Laurente. Birashoboko dufite ba Laurente benshi hano muri twebwe. Imana yagiriye neza. This is just one witness. Maybe we have other more witnesses in the congregation. Amen. Amen. Now many Inform the reception and you come and testify as well. Because there are things God has done. There is a pillar of witness. And it is witnessing everyone who passes by. They will say God has done great things for them. Look at how God can redeem 1.8 million in just one moment. 
and even the 1.8, we wouldn't be sure if it would actually serve the purpose. God works. Without a shadow of doubt, I know for sure that God works. Because when we pray to him, he hears our prayers and he works. Praise Jesus. You are also a witness. A witness of the things God has done in your life. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bibles. We are staying in the same theme, led by the pillar of cloud and fire. We are going to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 to 4. God wants to give you a fresh testimony tonight so that we will all give thanks to him. Even I, as I stand here, there is a miracle I saw today. Don't think I just pray for you. I also get my end of miracles. Because I'm also human. I also need to be touched by God. He can go through me to minister to you, but he will still touch my life. So I believe the same applies to you. Amen. 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 The Bible says you will water and you also be watered. Water. You will also be watered. When you give. When you speak. When you do good. God will also do it for you. Amen. Amen. So let's read. Benedata. Are we together? Let's Let's read read together. together. Let's read together. Let's read together. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud all pass through the sea. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse All were baptized into Moses. In the cloud and in the sea. Kumurango wa gata tu. Rekatkwese. Bose. Baga sangira. Jabzo kurja bziki. Bzumuka. Nabzabzo kunyuma bziki. Bzumuka. All ate the same spiritual food. And all drank the same spiritual drink. Kumurango wa kane. Rimu ya kabiri gata tu. Kuko. Banywaga. Kugitare chiki. Chumuka, chagira gagut. Chaba kurikiraga. Kandi chogitare chari inde. Chari Christo. Hallelujah. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And the rock was Christ. I enjoy the Bible. I don't know if you enjoy reading the scriptures. Even those who don't make sense of the scriptures, may you make sense of them tonight. Even those who are bored with the scriptures. The enjoy the scriptures from tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's wave to the Lord. Let's wave to the Lord. Let's wave to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Ndatekeza niba nibuka neza mu mwaka wa 2022. I believe in 2002. Genda Bishop Leonardo yankosora neza ariko ndibaza ko ari 2022. I think it was in 2002. Maybe Bishop Leonard can correct me if I'm wrong. Or 2003. We are talking about the cloud. Being baptized in the cloud. Because if you get baptized in the cloud tonight, everything will be done. The bad dreams, the nightmares. The rats. God told me to tell you that it's not in the future, it is today. This is what a voice just told me. That it's not in the future, but it's today. It's not in the future, it's today. You you are used to the God who takes his time, but today he's doing it tonight. Because where we are, there is a cloud. It's not tomorrow. It's today. It's today. It's tonight. This night, today, it will not get to midnight as a matter of fact. Before you see the hand of God in your life, I am not saying this to heat up your emotions. I'm saying this because this is what I heard. As I preach, I do not like touching people's emotions. Mm -mm. I stay away from it. I stay away from touching people's emotions. No. Because it doesn't add anything to your life. But I want to I want God to touch your heart and your emotions. Because that is what you actually need. More than me touching your emotions. So I heard a voice tell me. And it has told me as I saw you. To tell you that it is today. 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 Hallelujah. I recently, this week, told you about the cloud in Kenya. Today, I'll tell you about the cloud in the U.S. Quite a number of times. This cloud was manifested. If I recall well, it was in 2002 or 3 when I went to preach in the U.S. Because in 2001, we preached in Ohio, Dayton. That's where Bishop Leonard got saved. I, I, I say 2002 because that's when he asked me to organize a conference in 2002 and I would go back to Ohio. If I'm wrong, God will correct me on But for me to preach in that place, it was not easy at all because of some reasons and I'll share them. It was in 2001. 
Chagi twari Michigan 2001. Uri bukaneza. Okay. It was in 2001. Nips nips. Yes. Kuko michenda nichenda twari mu Busuisse nicyo gitwa panze gahunda yo kujya muri America. Because in 99 we were in Switzerland. We planned to go to the US in 99. No. Twe- going in the US in 2001. Michenda nichenda twari mu Busuisse. Because in 99 we were in Switzerland. No neho tuvugana n'abantu muri America cyo gitwa turi mu Busuisse Geneva. We were in Geneva and we spoke to people in the US about visiting them. Muri bibiri nari mwe rero. In 2001 Tujayo mumuji wa Grand Rapids muri Michigan. We went to Grand Rapids in Michigan. Icyo gihe Elisa yarafite umwaka umwe niba tari ibiri. Elisha was 1 or 2 years old. Tugeze Michigan. When we reached in Michigan. Saba umuntu wari waducumbike nambwe se nta hantu abantu baterana basenga eh kugira ngo tujye gusenga yo. I asked our host if there was a church that we could go to fellowship in. Aravuga ati nta nambwe washakisha aho basenga tu. And I said, just look for a place because this person had said there was no place to fellowship. This person said there is a man who lives in this town. He's a seventh day Adventist. He's from Rwanda. They have conference in another state called Ohio. They are the only people that I know who will fellowship on the weekend. I said, can he accept to take me in that same conference to go and fellowship with them? I was not going to preach. God had asked us to go to the US. But I didn't have a clear picture of where I would teach. Sometimes 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 God will tell you take God's children to Canaan but he will not give you the details of the Red Sea and the wilderness. It is the Holy Spirit who gives us the details. That's why the Holy Spirit, the comforter is considered feminine but God in his masculine, the Father doesn't give details. God will say, take my people there. But the details, it is the Holy Spirit who will give them. That's why mothers mothers love the Holy Spirit. And men love God the Father because they always fight with him. But, but it is mostly mothers who connect and love the Holy Spirit most. But we all connect. Be the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit, we connect with them. So we went. While we were in the car of that man, Elisha was a when baby a and he was with his mother. It was a journey of more than five hours. So we went talking on the road. His father was one of the, was the senior leader of the Seventh Day Adventist Church in Rwanda. My father was a senior leader of Pentecostals in his region. So think of this combination in a car. He was telling me about religion. I was telling him about the spirit. The Pentecostals. But he was a wonderful man. So we had a wonderful conversation with him. We reached Ohio. When we reached in Dayton, in Dayton, Ohio, we reached the church where they had rented, who was there? Rwandans who live in the diaspora, 
bo kukigeme babaye kukigeme bo mu bwongereza umwe yitwa gana urabibuka mebra na nje dibuka mazina ya mebra na nundi babara yari umudamu we munyarwanda kazi numuzungu kazi babanye kukigeme kera yumva nonoko mu Rwanda ibintu byabaye biba abantu bahunze baramutumira kugira ngo wa muzungu kazi wo kukigeme wari mu bwongereza aje gusura community y'abanyarwanda nyine urumva nyuma urumva nyuma jenoside ndi byari byoroshye so they had invited two women one Rwandan and another one Caucasian they had lived with them ministered to them in Kigeme and they had invited them to come and visit the community fellowship with them it was just after the genocide do you understand so we reached there tuhageze when we reached there amakuru yahuhiswe ngo abantu bavuye mu Rwanda baraha News spread that people from Rwanda have come to this conference. What you hear today, the diaspora, it was non-existent. In a short moment, there spread a rumor that I had been sent by the government of Rwanda to go and spy on that community. So as we entered the room, the hall, there were so many people in the hall and they were refugees. But the way they were staring at us and how we were looking at them, we were quite afraid. There was a bishop who was there. I think he was I think he was a bishop to the Anglican Church in Musanze before, before the genocide. He's the one who was leading the service. The hall was full. We didn't know anyone. And the person who brought us said, I have come with these people, they are from Rwanda, and instantly they were curious to know how we came and why we came. As we were still in the hallway, in the hallway, there came three women. They told me, come here. I went. I left my wife and my son in the corridor, in the hallway. I didn't know where I was going. They took me to another room. They told me, sit down. I sat. It's good to be obedient. So I obeyed and sat. The women were intercessors. They said, we are going to pray and ask God if you have come in peace or if the government of Rwanda has sent you to us. To come and spy on our community. Today, God will manifest who you are. So I thought, now, where is my wife or what happens to my wife and son? What happens to them? So, so I thought if they have kept me here to pray for me, this prison of prayer, what happens to my wife and son? Because I know they will catch nothing if they are really going to pray. I said, so the women surrounded me and they started running around me and they were praying and they were shaking. I kept quiet. They prayed and spoke in tongues and tongues and tongues. tongues. One of them said, I have recognized him. She said, He prayed for Bugesera and it rained in Bugesera. He's a true servant of God. He's the one. Are you the Gitwaza we hear about? I said it is I. He said, come, come, come. It's okay now. It's okay. 
It was not easy for them to let me go. And I had to be discerned by the spiritual women in the, in the congregation, in the community before they were to take me to other people to talk to me. But they had to discern first who I was. People of God. Randans have come from far. Kure. We have come from very far away. If you haven't seen what God has done in this land, you would be ignoring what God has done. We have come far from far as a people. So as they took me out, in my heart I knew I had no problem but I had my wife scream out in the hallway I said now what happened to my wife when I went to see her she was screaming with Pastor Francine the Pastor wife of Francine Bishop Leonard she was screaming so, her mother and the father of Pastor Francine, the wife of Bishop Leonard, are related. So the family had once said that if you ever go to the U.S., look for our daughter Francine. We don't know where she went. We don't know where she is. All we know is that she lives in the U.S. So that day, they had reconnected for the first time. <laughs> She last saw Pastor Angelique when she was very young. When she was very young, she used to come and visit. So that time in the U.S., they met when she was a mother with her son. So briefly, Bararira. They were crying. She said, this is the Francine the family has been looking for. I hugged Francine. I, I, I was cleared, so I was heading to the church. I was not worried about my wife anymore. We sat. And the women told the bishop, he has no problem. Bishop okay. <laughs> the women were very influential in the church, so they told the bishop. He, he, there were randoms from all the states in that conference, and the women said he is cleared. He has no problem. God uses him sometimes. He can even speak for 10 minutes. Give him 10 minutes to speak. No. And, and, the, and the other woman said, No, we will give him 15 minutes. No, no, we sat. Uh, bishop and Bishop said, Where is the man from Rwanda? I stood up and I said, I'm here. <laughs> he said, he said out loud, come and speak for 15 minutes. If you go beyond, I'll take the microphone from you. In front of the whole congregation, he didn't whisper. He said out loud. In my heart, I said, I'll not go beyond. I said, I'll sing three minutes. And I'll greet them. I just came to receive the message. I wasn't there to preach. I wasn't there to preach. But when I found many Rwandans there, I was happy to see Rwandans. So I took the guitar and I sang. After singing, I greeted them first, then sang. I had the guitar. I, I said, I want to sing and then pray. That will be it. I sang. I sang. 
indogo be nicha na chai mu magambo mayo sandra ndakavuze ho gatoya nkuko nawo wakabwiriza ho mu minute itarenze itanu in 5 minutes i i briefly talked about the scripture where jesus told them release the donkey and its young one and let it go just briefly something you say in 5 minutes ambo iminute yange yari tararangira nsubize ya bishop before my minutes had come to a complete i gave the microphone back Bishop Leonard Bishop Leonard was seated at the back. He had a child. He stood up. And he said, who gave you those minutes? Keep speaking. And everyone said, Amen. Bishop Leonard when the bishop saw this, he took his Bible, put it in a bag, and left. Switched on the car, and drove to Indiana and left. And Bishop, bishop Leonard said, I am the one who has called all these people here. I give you the permission to speak until you're tired. Take your time and preach as much as you want. Now, because I'm very organized by nature, I refuse. I preached just briefly and I said, so that we invite the white lady to come and speak. And there was another, there is another, there was another Rwandan lady from Kigeme. So that they speak, I let them speak. When the ladies came, they said, the white woman said, We have The lady stood up and said, We have seen the right person who has the right message for this community. So we will not preach for the three days. We will give the three days to him so that he preaches to this community. And they said we had prepared sermons for three days. They are written. We will give them to you. Read them for yourselves. But this is the man to preach to you now. That's how I started preaching the gospel in the U.S. for the first time. For a conference I didn't organize. But God organized it. After three days, things had changed. News spread. Bishop Leonard said, next year, come back. So I was going to tell you the following year that I went. That day, there rose a battle of those who are born again and those who are not born again. They said, you who are born again, they have influenced you, infiltrated you. They, they have infiltrated in you to bring us problems from across where Abandu they come from. And others said, no, we prayed and God spoke to us and they didn't believe it. So when I went to the conference, uh, he went to rent a church building because they had invited everyone from all over the states to come to that conference. And the majority were Rwandans. That time, when I came and reached the airport, Leonard received me but I could tell that he was not happy. I asked him, what, what happened to you? While we were in the parking, he took off his glasses and wiped his face. It was in the evening, I was tired from traveling. 
I, I wanted to go straight home to sleep. He said, bear with me. But let's first go to the church building where we will have the conference. I do not have good news. People have come we have taken so many rooms from the University of Dayton for the guests. The pastor of the church wants to see us because they will not give us the hall tomorrow. I said, okay. You see, our people, they have gone to report you to the FBI. And they have reported me as well. As we speak, I am in great trouble. They have informed all the leaders, all the levels of security organs, security organs that you've come to disturb the peace of American citizens. And they and they said they had informed the pastor. He was the assistant pastor. The senior pastor had gone. And the assistant pastor couldn't make a decision regarding the situation. So they informed him that randoms would come in demonstrations with, with things to show that they are not welcoming me to the place to preach. So he said, now, I know how this country operates. The pastor has asked that as soon as you land, we go to the church building so that he gives us a letter of cancellation because he doesn't want to risk the church building being burnt or having that chaos around the church building. So we drove. We reached the parking of the church. We found the pastor coming to see us in the parking space. But between the church and the parking, there was a garden. And there was a chair in the garden. Oh, he was wearing overalls. No, no. And he had a belly. He was speaking in English. And he said, I want to inform you that your conference is not happening tomorrow. Brandon refugees have said they will burn the church building down if you come. As, as the pastor in charge, since the senior pastor is not around, I want to tell you that you can't have a conference here. Listen. We were seated on the desk. In the church, there came a woman. And she was, she was walking with the staff. She was very elderly. She came. She, she was a little bit crippled. And she said, Pastor. She said, Pastor. I said, now, why is this old woman coming? She's coming to exaggerate the situation. We hadn't even responded to the pastor. She raised her staff and said, that man who is seated there, she was pointing to me, I couldn't see him because he was in a cloud from heaven to the earth. 
Now as I get close, I Wariko see him. Umuka, but the spirit has brought me from the church building to tell you not to fear because he has a divine message. Let him minister tomorrow. I haven't seen his face. He's in a cloud from heaven to the earth. Do not fear, Pastor. If it is a problem of cleaning the church, I will personally clean the church, but he should come and hold the conference. And Pastor, what you are afraid of, it will not happen. You let him preach the gospel. And the pastor said, oh, come and preach tomorrow. Come and preach tomorrow. Come and preach. Come in the conference. The elderly lady said, I will be with you in the conference for three days. So we had the conference. The FBI didn't come. Those who came to demonstrate, they didn't come. On the third day, the elderly lady would be sitting at the back with her cane. And then I told Leonard, go and ask her for her address. When I finish this conference, we will go to her house. We will go to thank her. And we'll carry something as a gift for her. Leonard went to see her, took her address, and it was done. And she said, on the last day, she confirmed so many things about me and about the conference. On the Sunday, when the conference was coming to a close, I told Leonard Monday night, let's go visit the old woman. We went. We went and reached the house. We knocked. There came some people. We asked the names. They said, we do not know this woman. We gave the names and the address she had given us. And they showed us in the yellow pages. They looked for the name and couldn't find the person in the yellow pages. I said, Pastor, you, you wrote the address wrongly. Said no. I, I live here in Ohio. Besides the address, I knew the, the place. I said, Let's go and ask the pastor because he knows the lady. They went back to the pastor. pastor and the pastor said, The pastor said, It was my first time to see that woman. But I do not know that woman. Mm. But she was coming from the church. I don't know. He I said, don't. I, don't, I don't know her. So who? Who is she? It happened in the time of Gitwaza, not Moses. I want to tell you that the news we read are relevant. God is still moving in this What he did in the ancient times, he is doing it today. We have a big God. When he goes to move, he moves to do great things. We have a God of mercy. When he goes to touch a life, he does it with mercy. We have a God of love. When he goes to move, he moves in his love. I'm here to tell you tonight. Our fathers walked under the cloud. And it did even the children are still moving under the cloud. Hallelujah! 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 If our fathers walked under the cloud, their children are still walking under Hallelujah. the cloud. Hallelujah! 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 My brothers, my sisters, my brothers, I don't want you not to know. 
Sogokuruza. What happened to our forefathers? Who walked under the cloud? And the cloud is still here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The cloud is still the cloud is still It is alive. Jesus. The God of Moses is the God that we call upon. He is your God. He is my God. I have so many testimonies of the cloud. So many testimonies of the cloud. Some of you, you know it. Some of you, when I preach, some of you, ah, when I preach, you good. see the cloud, haven't you? Let me see those who have seen the cloud. I preach. I know the cloud I'm talking about. It took me from Nairobi. Brought me to Nairobi. Took me to the US. You have the same cloud. You have the same cloud. You have the same cloud. You have the same Hallelujah. That I don't want you to be ignorant of this. That all our fathers have you seen a hand cover its young ones? It's yes. And all the cheeks are covered Niko by the All of them were covered. He will not cover you at all. He will cover your heart. He will cover your heart. He will cover your heart. Ira twikira ni gihugu cyawe. Ira twikira n'umugabane wa. Hallelujah. Ngo bose. All of them. Ngo bari musiki. Where and what? Ya cyakicyo. The cloud. Manangu ko wa fasha. Basogo ku ruza. Aha. Nikona kuza dufasha Munya kiri mbere Uko ya fashe baso kukuru As he helped our fathers Bagende mugichu Who walked under the cloud Bara ye mugichu Who lived in the cloud Bazu kie mugichu Who were born in the cloud Bari ye mugichu Who ate under the cloud Barongore ye mugichu Who were married under the cloud Babzari ye mugichu Who birthed under the cloud Jesus. Ninako ilimi bikoro uyu munsi. So is he doing it today? Jesus. Ndakibona kirabuzuye aho hara. I see the cloud covering your lives today. Hari igicu cima. There is a cloud of God. Dikikuva ukitaraza nimvura yo gukira. It will not leave before it rains healing. The rain of miracles. It is a cloud with the blessings of God. It is a cloud that leads your life. We do not lead our ah, lives. We do not lead our, our lives. lives. We are led by the cloud. We are led by the cloud. They were all under the cloud. And all into the sea which parted. There is no sea that will part unless there is a cloud leading the people. Do we agree on this? For the sea to part, there has to be a cloud above you. The problems we have today are because the cloud has moved away from us. This is the time to see the cloud restored in our lives. It is the evening of the restoration of the cloud. We will carry on tomorrow. But let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand up and let us pray. Because you are under a cloud. You are under a cloud. You are under a cloud. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come?
I didn't teach about my verse. I wanted to show you that the cloud that moved with me will move with you. Because I didn't have a verse for you. I didn't have a verse for you. Because when we talk about the cloud leading the Israelites in the wilderness, you immediately picture the Israelites. But I want to tell you that the cloud is still relevant in our lives today. What are you, what are you struggling with today? I want you to look at the Red Sea in front of you. In the spirit of prayer. Look at the problem that you're facing today. The hardest. The battle have fought. Look at the problems you have dealt with for so long. I want you to think about them. Because the cloud is going to part them. There is power that is coming to part the sea. Let's be still. I want you to look at the mountains ahead of you. Look at the sea ahead of you. All of them, align all of them. Look at the problems that you can't even tell people that you're facing. They are fighting. You're asking yourself, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I go? Should I stay? It's just between you and your heart what you're struggling with. So I want us to be still. God is saying it's tonight. It is happening tonight. It is happening tonight. Start speaking to him. Start telling him. You are tired of this mountain. Tell him. Tell him that you are tired of this Red Sea. Tell him. Tell him that you want to raise a banner unto him. That you need to have a child as well. Tell him. Tell him that you want to go to school like everyone else. Tell him that you want to get married like everyone else. Tell him that you want to progress in life like everyone else. Tell him that you want to rejoice, to be full of joy like everyone else. Because this is the evening. He has said it is today. He says, I should tell you that it is today. Jesus. 
He is not man to confuse what he has said about your life. It is tonight. He is not man that he should regret what he told you. And what he said about you will come to pass. He is not man to confuse. Oh, oh. oh yeah. He is not man. He is not man to confuse what he has said about your life. This evening. Our God is doing it. Our God is doing it. Itangiye kugenda again. Our God is moving. Ndabo ni gicu cy'Imana gitangiye gukora. Kirimo kirabuja, kirabuja. It is moving, it is moving. Yeah. It is moving, it is moving. Yeah. The cloud is moving. I see the cloud 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 touching life. I see the cloud touching life. I see the cloud changing life. I see the cloud changing life. The cloud is changing life. It is changing life. Kirimo kirakura mu bibzima munda. Kirimo kirashiririza za kanse. Ndabona ubwo kwimana. Iyo kanse iyo kanse imyashirira. Irimira gumba. Ndabibona. Mu ijo siryawe. Munda yawe. Mu mabere yawe. Irimira sha. Irimira sha. Irimirasha, umuriro wimana, umuriro wimana, iki chuchi mana, umuriro wimana, uri mura tuika, uri mura kongora, ibi gomba kusha, ibi mabi rasha, ibi gomba kusha, ibi mabi rasha. He sends he sends forth his word and it heals his people. Ayo maguru ya wenda zongera kwa kamwe muriro birarangiye. Yo heresi jambo rya. Ira ya kujije. He sends his word and his word heals his people. Ayo magufa yawe. Your bones. Asubiye ku murongo. Ugorubavu, ugorubavu rukuria. Your side, your side that hurts you. Ndaba nuruavu gimos. It is your left side. Bira rangiye. It is done. Bira rangiye. It is done. Ndaba nuruavu gwindio. And another right side. Bira rangiye. It is done. Bira rangiye. It is done. Bira rangiye. It is done. Dakuba agua. You will not be able to see. Nimuru yumugoro ba biba ya bira rangiye. Jesus. 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 He is going to bless you in that career. He is going to bless you. Jesus. Jesus. Imani nyeretse harimva eshano zigiye gugu mu misiri imbere gucukurwa irazisibye izomva eshano zibonye ubunyine zisubizeho ubutaka ikongera imyaka yo kubaho iguha imyaka yo kubaho iguha imyaka yo kubaho He has just covered those who are going to die. He has increased life upon you. 
The graves are covered. You will not be buried soon. You will walk you over the graves. graves. You will walk over the graves. Giving, you thanks. giving thanks to God. Speaking about God's goodness. Speaking about God's goodness. Really conchekaya. Riyabaseka. Riyeli kosheka. Riyeli sekoya. Umva. Listen. Karumunu. There is someone here. Miratangaj. This is amazing. You could be here or you are following us online. You have a problem of a tumor in your, in your anus, so you struggle going to the toilet. From today, it is gone. I have seen God touch it. Your life is realigned. Everything is realigned. You will not feel the pain anymore. And you are fully healed. God is doing great things this evening. God is doing great things this evening. There is someone. Someone who, someone who has a problem with hair loss. Your hair has been falling off. I want to tell you that it has stopped. Yo. God, open their eyes that they may see that they may see the miracles happening. Let them see, Father. Let them see a miracle, oh God. Let them see something happen for them. Someone here has a child sick at home they are healed in this moment right now God, God, God has been everywhere God has been in your rooms He's going everywhere Jesus Jesus Oh Raise your hand and let's give thanks. Nani chonza kora, nani chonza kora, zaza muri kera. Uki chonga mi wako, kuku taru mu, kuku taru. Zazamuri, Vendera, Vuk, 
Come, 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 come. We are going to pray. If you are still in the seats and you want to come to receive Jesus, stop fighting your heart. Come and receive Jesus and your life will be changed. Come. Come, Jesus wants you. Come, Jesus wants you. Come, Jesus wants you. Come, Jesus wants you. If you are here, please. Even on the radio, no on TV, no on TV, no come, Jesus wants you. Amen. Amen. This is a special evening for you. You have made the best choice of your life. Because this evening, you are starting. It has started for you this yes, evening. You came empty, but you go back with Jesus in your heart. You came with no life, but you will go back with life. You came with no life, but you go back with life. We know. Come. We know. Come. Let's pray. Close your eyes. Repeat, Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. But I come before you. Forgive me. I have led my life all these years. Now, I have chosen to be led by you. Accept to come in my heart. I open my heart to you. Come and lead me. Be the king and the savior of my life. From today, make me the person you want me to become. And I will serve you forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You have done well for having come to receive Christ so that we keep supporting you. I ask that you turn. The lady at the back will receive you and they will help you. Sit there and they will help you. They have something to tell you. Thank you, Lord. May God bless you.